course, on Valentine's Day, we all want to get the right gift for that special someone to really make it, you know, the most special day that it possibly could be. But remember that you don't necessarily have to break the bank in order to make that happen. Chief Marketing and Innovation Officer at Daily Pay, Jeannie Walden, is joining us now to explain how we can still get that wow factor out of our loved one, but without saying wow when we look at our bank statement next week. So, Jeannie, how is it that we can celebrate Valentine's Day in a budget-conscious way, but again, still making the loved one the happiest they possibly could be? You know, at Daily Pay, we work with millions of employees, and we give them access to their pay as they earn it. One of the funniest things that I've seen since we've been working at Daily Pay is that our most popular holiday to access your money as soon as you made it is actually Valentine's Day. 68% of everyone who accesses the money that they've earned on Valentine's Day does it to buy somebody that they love a gift. So one of the things I think we need to keep in mind is Valentine's Day is probably the most last minute holiday that's out there. Mm -hmm. You're not buying in advance. You're not looking for Black Friday deals. You're realizing on Valentine's Day, oh, hey, did I remember my mom? Did I remember my dad, my sister, my loved one? You know, but oftentimes it's not only last minute, but you're looking at your bank account and you want to keep it to a budget. During this crazy pandemic second year, we're talking about doing things that mean a lot and are very experiential so that you can save the money to do something amazing once we're all allowed back out again. Those ideas include a romantic dinner at home. You know, maybe you go to your local Kroger or other grocery store and buy the things to create a romantic dinner at home. Second thing is making a love box. I don't know if you've ever done this for anybody, but my daughter did this for me a few years ago. She just wrote down all the reasons that she loves me on a piece of paper and put it in a really cute box wow. and it melted my heart. Wow. So people love that. They keep it, they use it forever. You know, sometimes you see these love coupons where you can give people a coupon that they can redeem for a walk a special evening out, a date night, things along those nature that cost absolutely nothing, but will really melt the heart of the people that you love. And, you know, the other things that we're looking at is going to places like Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is probably my favorite store for any holiday because you can find such great deals on amazing gifts that don't break the bank. You can assemble a heart-shaped vase filled with little trinkets that the person that's your significant other or your daughter or son would absolutely love. And they often come in handy. Mm -hmm. So those are just a couple tips of the ways that you can celebrate Valentine's Day on a budget without breaking the bank. Yes. Yes, Jeannie, truly it is the thought that counts at Dollar Tree. I love that place because it's literally the place where money grows on trees and, you know, every leaf is kind of a dollar. Love it. Uh, now, how has daily pay been used in some romantic ways and has it maybe helped out any folks in a tight spot? My favorite story is a boy who got his first job out of college, took a girl on a date, they actually hit it off, and from there he's driving her home and he's thinking about the second date and realizes he has no gas in his car. Mm. Now he's thinking, if I don't find a way to put gas in the car and we run out of gas, she's never going to go out on a second date, pulls right. over, uses daily pay, fills up his tank. She doesn't know anything the different. They go out on a second date. He sends us a video from the gas station a few months later and says, we're getting engaged. It's all because of daily pay. You've brought this love connection together and made wow. it happen. So that's, that's one of my, that's one of my favorite stories. You know, another hilarious story that I've heard around Valentine's day, Valentine's day gone wrong. Somebody hired a uh, person dressed as a panda to come and do a singing love song mm -hmm. sent them to the wrong address no <laughs> so, way, no. same address wrong town shows up panda sings a love song wouldn't you know this couple was just in marriage counseling and the panda brought them back together <laughs> so wow. love is in the air it is just something we should all take advantage of it truly sounds like it Jeannie. so where can folks go to get more information and to truly take advantage of all of the flexibility that daily pay provides yeah, so if you're interested in daily pay, you can go to dailypay.com. If you want to look at more tips and, and treats for how to have a happy Valentine's Day, JeannieWalden.com, and we'll have the link there as well. Awesome. 
Awesome. She just made it easy for us, you guys. The Chief Marketing and Innovation Officer at Daily Pay, Jeannie Walden, just told us how to have a successful, happy, and on a budget Valentine's Day. Of course, all this money-saving information you can find on firstcoastliving.net. Thanks again, Jeannie.